So I've been told sometimes I've got a lot of uh, gadgets or technical stuff in here. That's this is kind of what I do for a living is is controls, is building automation controls is what I do for a living. But um, just decided to run my generator tonight. It's, it's been about a month, and you hear it in the background. I'm sure uh, it, it's much louder than, than what you hear. I got a lot of sound sound deadening. Uh, <laughs> playing playing with this stuff. I go, oh, this is so cool. I love this stuff. As long as it works. I mean, it, it's all electronics. So as long as it works, it's all great and wonderful. Um, so right now I'm running off of shore power, uh, 121 volts, and I'm pulling yeah, almost an amp, which is basically my computer, little stuff, not much. There's really, really not much on right now. Um, the hot water heater is is on, but it's not drawing because that pulls about seven amps. Uh, air conditioning obviously is not on; it's freezing outside. But it's also my heat pump. Well, I've got turning a pan too fast. There, got the fireplace going, um, but it is cycling. So this is this is cool. I love all this. This is Magnum Energy. Um, my my panel uh, plus the inverter that I have. So. If I want to switch from my generator running in the background, or I guess switch to my generator running in the background from my shore power, I can turn on my inverter. You know, well, you see the light come on, so the inverter is not on, but it is ready to be on. And I can switch from my shore power to, which I have a uh, power inlet in the front of the boat and the power inlet in the back of the boat, decided to separate them. I might have gotten the, the, the dust decide to separate them so when your shore power is hot it, it doesn't make the prongs on the other one hot so I divided them um, so we have shore but this one isn't actually plugged in that's why the light isn't green my my aft shore power is plugged in to the marina here and this is the generator and you're gonna see the reverse polarity light come on I didn't install the generator there's something wrong with the ground on it so this light will come on and the reverse light reverse polarity light down here will come on so inverter will pick up instantly I'm gonna show you in the mirror my computer screen which is completely 120 it's not a laptop there's no battery backup so when I switch from my shore power to my generator it's going to nothing so just because the inverter catches it so quick the computer screen doesn't even flicker love that like I said as long as this stuff always works it's fine but you can see the uh, the generator the, the reverse polarity light and the reverse polar polarity light there um, something to be dealt with later unfortunately my generator is not accessible in the back where the wiring is so this thing it is outputting two amps down here it says five amps this and this does not read in the in the same place this is the actual inverter and this is what they call a CT it's like a little donut around the hot wire coming in um, current transducer that's the type of stuff I deal with so we're 118 volts this is 114 volts I'm not sure why it's so far off maybe it's just this is Chinese and I'm sure this is Chinese too but uh, you can go in your menu go in your menu the DC meters 13.3 and this and this one is my battery monitor it's my clipper battery monitor and this is a completely different system but these are a whole lot closer 13 to 13 to 13 3 and the amps this only measures between like 1 and 10 so if it's between 5 and 10 it'll flicker on and off so we're charging 1.1 amp because it's floating because 13.2 we, we don't need anything and it's it's doing that because of the the alternator on the generator is actually charging so the battery charger doesn't need to do anything because this these LEDs up here just about all we're burning and that and the uh, the fan on my, my wonderful little fireplace there but if we go into AC meters it says 100 and it fluctuates. This is what the generator is doing as far as voltage 114, 117, so we've got 118. And Hertz, 
That's such a pain. The generator does not maintain 60 hertz then on. I don't know if any of them do. I'd imagine the newer ones that are electronically controlled do. But this one, you actually have it tuned by a screw that controls the throttle position for the uh, fuel pump. So 60.5 hertz, no complaints. I just think it's really cool that I can switch from generator to shore power and never miss a lick. My computer doesn't shut off and it's pretty freaking sensitive. So here it says we're inverting and once it picks up the shore power, it says we're charging. I can turn the inverter off. Shut off that noisy generator. <sighs> and then we're back to we're discharging. I guess the refrigerator is probably on. I know my stuff pretty well, so um, discharging five amps is probably the LEDs, an amp for the hot water or the the fireplace fan. Maybe let's see. Refrigerator. No, I'm not going to turn the. Uh, if I turn. What, I, what I've labeled as heater is my fireplace. If I turn that off, it'll kill the flame because I've got it connected to my solenoid for the gas and for the fan. So it, it may pull. I know the solenoid's an amp. I didn't think the fan was that much. Let's see. the. Uh, there's a light on here, too. Those are LEDs. I've got a lot of LEDs just on that one switch. Of course, now the battery charger kicked on. Kind of screwed us in the middle of that one, but... So now this is, is like I said, it goes from zero to ten, and then it starts going at one amp increments. So, and it, it's just gonna bump up and, and just kind of float because of the electricity I'm using. But anyway, two hundred and something bucks, two thousand something bucks for the battery charger, and then I've got a supplemental charger or a, a connector between my house batteries and my starting battery to keep them maintained and I'm thinking of adding a few more things to it but this stuff gets pretty expensive these two panels right here almost a thousand bucks this one I only paid like ten dollars for the panel and then uh, the little monitor here off eBay it's like another ten dollars and this one I love Blue Sea Blue Sea systems if you're gonna buy electronics if you're serious about your boat I bought one of these, I had a problem with it, I called them up and I was ready to go ballistic on them and they said, no problem, uh, we'll send you a brand new one and if you don't mind, send the old one to us so we can figure out what happened, what was wrong, so we can prevent that from happening again. They literally sent me a brand new one before I even mailed the old one back to them. Uh, it was extremely cool of them. I mean, they didn't ask for a receipt, they didn't ask for anything. So, man, what a company, what a company. Really, really want to stand behind their products. But like I say, this one, I, I, I'm all I'm all about backing up a company. Like I say, I've got, you know, $1,200, $1,300 dollars worth of Blue Sea stuff here. But I made this one, and it works just fine. Um, this little panel in the CT, like it's a little donut that you put over the hot wire on your your 120, and then you have to power this by you know, by your 12 volt. Really simple to do. It comes with really great Chinese instructions, uh, but for like another 10 bucks I can measure my voltage my amperage usage um, so this is 116 coming in from the marina which isn't great uh, and, and the more amps you use the lower the voltage is out here uh, but this is the air conditioning and a couple other little bitty things running so fun stuff fun stuff uh, if you if you like to know what's going on uh, if you're one of those type people Start playing with this stuff. Uh, it's a good time.